Sophia here, my great challenge. It is day two, <laughs> Saturday, in my three-day um, William bedroom makeover marathon. <laughs> I'm wrecked. <laughs> so, you're so, um, I, I really, <laughs> I'm so tired. And in about 20 minutes, I get the live um, on my Patreon. I'm gonna do it from my phone in this room and you know show them where I'm at in the process and then we're just gonna chit chat for about an hour and then I gotta get back um, with what I'm doing. So I just finished painting. Uh, everything has two coats. The only thing I still have to do is touch-ups, uh, white touch-ups. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, you know, sometimes the roller skips. <laughs> So I have a little bit of touch-up on the top and I have a little bit of touch-up on the bottom. So the two different paint, the flat ceiling one and then the uh, um, cut and whisper. I like the colors. Um, it's totally different. <laughs> it's a different room, uh, no doubt. Um, I'm running the air purifier right now to remove the um, smell of paint and I'm probably going to leave the windows open overnight trying to get as much paint smell as possible but I gotta tell you that bare scuff defense um, primer plus paint awesome it went faster for the second coat which I knew it would um, but yeah it really did cover everything I didn't have to prime and it's just good quality paint it's thick I'm happy with it. I've always used beer, so I have nothing bad to say about them. So what's my plan for today? When I'm done uh, with my life for Patreon, I'm going to thoroughly clean the floor. I have some paint splatter, like, you know, little droplets here and there. I'm gonna scrape that off. Um, I wanna clean underneath the heat boards because the vacuum doesn't go underneath there. So I have to go with a rag and, and really clean that. Bring the Murphy's oil and I'm gonna scrub the whole floor. And as I'm scrubbing, I'm gonna use the uh, steel wool to remove, you know, little droplets here and there and then maybe um, scrape off the bigger ones. And then once it's uh, washed, I'll give it one or two coats of Rejuvenate. Once that's done, I'm gonna bring in the rug, uh, lay the rug flat and I'm gonna build a bed uh, because I need to build a bed before I do the desk otherwise I have to kind of like lift the bed over the desk so I'm gonna do the bed um, I have to wash all the linen uh, for the bed because I bought him a new bed in a bag type thing you know new comforter um, new sheets I don't think I got him a new pillow um, so I'll set that up and then if time permits, and if I have more time, I'll start uh, with other stuff. So I did buy a track light, uh, that's a plug-in track light. I have to install it underneath the bed to bring light to the desk. I have that shelf um, that I need to install. That's the shelf for all of his figurines. And, you know, little things here and there that I need to do. Put the curtains back on the in the wash right now and that would be it i think for today tomorrow i'm gonna do a separate video just for the building of the desk and the setting up of the desk because the desk was sent to me by a company named coastway and it's it's a really cool desk um it's an l shape perfect for a teenager or an adult um so the building of the desk and the setup that will be a separate video and then I'll do another video um, with the final touches you know decor reorganizing everything um, the bean bag <laughs> I can't wait I have no idea where I'm gonna put it there's not a lot of room once the bed is in here but we'll see maybe I'll put it in front of the bookcases um, and then I'll give you a final tour and that will be the fourth video. And I'm realizing that there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to post a video on YouTube for Monday. 
uh, because tomorrow I have to do my update for Patreon and then I have to edit that and I have to post that and schedule it and I have to do the uh, Patreon blog which is you know the entire week in recap in picture you know two three pictures per day plus the narrative um, it takes about an hour to put together so I do want to spend time with Willie when he comes home I hope he likes it I mean technically this is everything he said he wanted but you never know sometimes you have a vision in your mind and then when you see it applied it's not the same um, but yeah, so I'm going to take a break and then when I come back, I will be doing the floor and then um, move on with the day um, because in 15 minutes I got to do my Patreon live. So, oh, you want to see it, right? Hold on. Let me show you what the room looks like as of now. And it's a really bad day in Jersey today. It's actually raining, um, so it's kind of gray. But this is the room uh, when you come in from the door. So again, the bed is going to be here, um, big love bed with the desk underneath it. And then, where oh, I do like those colors. It looks really cool. Um, so this is the other side of the room. And I'm glad I did the doors. Again, didn't have a chance. I don't think I will have a chance to do um, the other side of the door, but everything is back in place. I'm keeping all my tools on top. Uh, I asked him if he wanted to keep the buffalo print and he says yes. And I think it's okay because it's it looks nice with the blue, but I gotta figure out where to put it. I don't know if I wanna put it right here because uh, he might wanna put some Pokemon or whatever. Um, but yeah, so this is the room um, as of now. And again, you know, I have a little splatter here and there. Um, this change of color you see here, that's the old rug, the rubber, I guess. I don't know if it's the heat or what, but I'm going to try to remove that. Um, and then if you're wondering what that thing is, that's the cover for the hole that was there uh, after they removed the original um, radiators and installed this heating system. Uh, and it's only on this side and this side. And then this one in the middle here has nothing. And I guess it makes sense. They're putting it on the outside of the house. Um, on the walls are outside of the house anyway. Oh, a little library there. So you see, it is raining. So, oh, um, you can't tell there were holes at all. I mean, so that putty did work. It's pretty good actually. Um, let's go on this side. Yeah, just a little bump, but otherwise you can tell. But the paint looks very cool. And I did paint you so that uh, the window. So everything looks brand new. And those two blues are beautiful. Do you want to see them? Well, it's gray outside, so I don't know how it's going to look. Um, but if I turn off the light, that's what it looks like. Um, but again, it's really, really gray out. Um, and we're facing south, um, southwest actually, so, no, southeast, so I'm thinking, I, I'm too tired, I can't remember. Uh, so the sun is in this room pretty much all day, when it's sunny. <laughs> so that's it. All right, I'll be back. it is uh, 2 30 2 30 just finished the live it actually went a little bit longer um, than I anticipated but that's okay it was a good conversation about you know what we accomplished and um, what we plan on accomplishing in the next few days before the end of the month so it was good I have a bucket here with super super hot water and a lot of Murphy's oil in it and rags and brush and still wool. And what I'm going to start doing is go underneath here because this area doesn't really get cleaned all that much. Um, 
it's you know it's mostly dust and I'm probably gonna find coins stuff like that um, but I want to get it clean and then I'm gonna literally scrub the entire floor Lodge in there, and you can't get it with the uh, the vacuum. And sometimes I go at it even with the attachment, and can't get it. This is the floor after a serious scrub and uh, yeah I mean this is the cleanest it's looked in a long time um, and again I mean it's got scratches you know a lot of it is residual from the old carpet it's got like dance really bad scratches over there I mean those were here um, like it's like a big dent here this was basically underneath the carpet when I removed it and I never got a chance to restore in this floor. It really needs to be sanded down. That's what it needs, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, I'm waiting for the part over there to dry and then I'm going to do at least two coats of the Rejuvenate Wood Floor Restore Fills, Scratches, Seals and Protects. So I love Rejuvenate, you know I love to use it. It's really going to make a difference. So let's go back. I'm going to show you again what it looks like uh, before rejuvenate. And then I'll apply it and I'll show you the after. <music> While the rejuvenate is uh, drying, this is the pile of stuff oops, that I purchased for the room. Um, the desk is in the back, that's the rug. Everything else is uh, a computer chair and then this is all either lighting or storage for the desk. And then the bed is actually still on the front porch. So I'm going to go and finish some laundry and when I come back, 
I'm installing the uh, rug. We're going to unroll it and then start on the bed. Okay, I'm making progress. I just put the curtains back on. I'm showing them to you now because there's still daylight. Um, and to my surprise, I thought about the same one. Then I have upstairs and are now in Edward's room. They're supposed to be velvet, but those are actually satin. And I tell you what, they're really nice. Um, and for once, I got the right length. Um, yep, I think it looks good. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna look really cool. Okay, here's the rug. Um, I gotta decide if I want it this way or the other way. I'm not sure how it's going to fit in terms of uh, length versus um, width. Remember the purpose of the rug is to put underneath the uh, desk um, and some of the room too so that he can have his computer chair and it won't ruin the floor. Let's see what happens if I put it this way. rug this way. Let me see what happens if I put it the other way. And it's darker on one side, lighter on the other, and I think I'm going to put the dark against the wall if I'm going to put it in this position. It's hard. I don't know if I want it this way. It pro it makes the room longer, I think, if I keep it this way. And then I keep the light here and then it goes darker over there. I think I'm going to do that. Um, it will cover the entire bed and the desk. Give him a space here so I can put the uh, bean bag right here. And then there's an empty space here. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it that way. Definitely keep the dark towards the end, so I just have to flatten it. And I'm going to have to put weights or something on the uh, edges here. Maybe if I can flip it the other way. It was a cheap rug, okay? I don't think I spent more than 120 bucks for it. But it's very nice. And it fits the room and the decor. Yeah. All right. Let me see if I can fold this the other way to reshape it. And then over there in the corner, I may have to get one of those um, double-sided thing so that nobody trips. my shoes um i don't know why but i have a feeling there's going to be five thousand screws in this thing oh, and they put it upside down <laughs> uh, i got it on amazon it's a twin love bed model yclbfg001 it's black and it's metal
Yikes. <laughs> oh boy. What did I get myself into? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here's the bunk bed. And we're going to put the um, ladder on the right side. Uh, <laughs> so it's um, 10 to 6. Um, let's see how long it's going to take, okay? Um, I'm about ready to do the ladder. Um, I'm just going to show you parts as I have them done, okay? You guys don't want to watch me. <laughs> build a, a, a bunk bed. I'm just going to show you each part as they done. Okay, so I am to, about to do the ladder and um, basically the full side that's going to go against the closet. Okay, so that's pretty cool. They're giving you all the parts um, in little bags and they're all labeled. So I'm supposed to use that A3 here. Um, my concern is that there's only one of these. Um, so I'll have to check the box. Maybe there's more, but I doubt it. It's 9.30, three hours. <sighs> All right, listen, it's not, um, it's not difficult. It just takes a long time because this 5,000 screws. Da, 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 da. And we have a love bed. So I tried it. <laughs> um, obviously it's for the youth. <laughs> <laughs> this straight ladder is is kind of difficult um so he's very limb i'm sure he'll have no problem but if he has an issue with it what i'll do is that i'll go get a uh, rv ladder that's on a hook and goes at an angle um because uh, <laughs> i tried to climb it i mean i was able to go on the mattress but anyway so quick review on this um it is sturdy um, and I did, you know, um, what you call it, screwed, um, tighten all the screws. Uh, I do want to put it, um, or at least put straps. The, it comes with straps, have some straps here because it's not against the wall on uh, the way it is. You see that, right? Or I might do um some kind of blocks here 
to help holding it. Um, I think that's one of the issues. That it's supposed to be against the wall, and Willie wanted it here, um, but because of the uh, heat board, it's putting it a little bit away. So as a result, when you climb, it's moving a little bit. But then again, you know, I'm heavier than him, so we'll see what happens. Um, and we measured it so that the blade from the um, fan is absolutely not touching it. So that's what it looks like. And I gotta tell you, those light bulbs, the 60 watts, they're way too much. Um, <laughs> way too much. So what I'm gonna do is probably, at some point, change them to 40 watts. Because uh, as much as I wanted to have some kind of daylight um, to see what I was doing, and so that you guys could see what I was doing, uh, they are really blinding me. Um, but then again, he never uses the um, overhead light. So, okay. I have one more thing to do before I go to bed because I'm exhausted is get the uh, bin bag because I believe the bin bag has to deflate. <laughs> it has to deflate. Um, and that thing is too heavy. So I'm waiting for either Edward or um, Scott to bring it upstairs. I really like the rug. I hope you do too. And I'm going to put the bin bag right here. I was thinking uh, of over here, but I, I don't know. I think if we put it right here, it would probably work better. Um, okay, be right back. Alright guys, this is the last stretch for tonight. It's 10.20. I need to go to bed. I'm really tired. But I'm not here to complain. All right. The reason why I want to open that now is because I think it has to, whatever you call it. And let me tell you, this is heavy. It's 42 pounds. My God. <laughs> so that's the one that's a surprise. He doesn't know. I did get it. No more strength in my arms. This thing, it might be a little big. <laughs> oh God, it's so heavy. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out where to put it. Um, right, let me get this stuff out of here. This thing is enormous. <laughs> it's so big. Oh my God. Even return it. Oh, all right. How'd you put that on? Okay, listen, it's really cool, but it's a little big. So. Oh, yeah. oh, this is great. This 
is nice. It's an adult size. <sighs> oh. Yeah, he could totally be reading here. <sighs> what a day. <laughs> This is cool. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. Um, I think the best would be by the window, but then the desk is there. Unless I move this further here. Let me see. Oh, how'd you get out of this? <laughs> oh my God, how'd you get out of here? Open and close. Perfect. So this is gonna go over there. Where's the handle? Here we go. Oh, is there a second hand? No, it's just one. the window okay oh what is this this is a pocket how does this work then did I do I have it backward is it supposed to be like this instead If I put it here by the window, then he has the light, right? You want to see it again? <laughs> I always wanted one when I was a kid. My parents never bought me one. Um, I think he's going to have a blast with this. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going to do this. I'm rolling out. That's Oh, the cat will love this. Okay. Alright. That's not even the bigger one. They have different sizes. I didn't take the smallest one. Oh. Uh, I think this is the second. Listen, he wanted a bin bag, okay? That's supposed to be a surprise. Be nice if I could put it in the corner over there. But with the heat... I don't know. Let me try. Stay 
it's nice. I mean, there's no nothing to uh, support your neck unless you go. Oh, all right. <laughs> Man, I hope so. I hope he likes it. Oh. <sighs> All right, I gotta go to bed. It's much easier to get out when you come out of the end. Oh, look at that. It goes back into shape. It's taking a lot of room. But it is what it is. Okay. <coughs> How does it feel? Right, I'm going to bed. I bet you are. I can totally see you fall asleep within three minutes. But the light is like in your face, right? Yeah. I gotta change those light bulbs. They're too much. Come on. I know you could literally fall asleep within 30 seconds. I've, I've, I'm experiencing that. Okay, babe. Yeah, you want to wake him up? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? <laughs> it's like you're sitting on nothing. You know? Right. He's going to like it. He wanted one. What do you want me to say? Yeah, he'll probably uh, fall asleep on this more so than that. On what? On this? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see. All right. I got to say goodbye. I need to go to bed. Ooh. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Show me how you do it. Because I couldn't get out of there. Oh, you got to roll. See? That's what I thought. Okay, so, and it, it goes back into shape because it's memory. <gasps> uh, <laughs> How's your back? You all right? Yeah, my back. Okay. So, okay. it goes back. Oh. Uh, now you're going to do this. Oh, man. It's rough, right? When you Well, it's not good for a 55-year-old. <laughs> All right, and again, terrible lighting because it's nighttime and I'm uh, um, getting the light from above my head. Um, five to 11. Oh. 12, 13 hours today, um, but I did everything I said I was gonna do, um, except I didn't make the bed, but that's okay. That can be done tomorrow. All right, so tomorrow my day looks like this. Uh, in the morning, I'm getting up as early as possible, um, and I have to film my Patreon update. I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, so I got to film my Patreon update. Um, then I'm coming in here and I'm building the desk, the chair. And then after that, it's a matter of just putting stuff like organizing, making the bed. Um, I do have that shelf. Oh, and the light. Okay. I think I have enough time. And if I don't, that's okay. As long as I have the bed made and the desk and everything on his desk organized, the computers and everything we hooked, he'd be all right. <laughs> and then I have a light, a, a clip on light that I bought that goes on the railing so that he can read in bed. I have the light that's a strip light, um, a spotlight that goes underneath his bed. Uh, that's a plug-in. I have to install that. Um, the baskets that are hanging from the railing, that takes five minutes. What else do I have? I did buy a little cart to put the tower, the CPU on it, so that way the computer is not on the floor or on the desk. Um, and then, you know, storage containers to put all of his pens and stuff. Um, so if I don't have the time to do the shelf, oh, and this, the, um, coat rack thing. You remember that? It's been in this room for something like eight years and I still haven't installed it. Well, we're going to install it now and it's white. It's perfect. 
but that's gonna go behind the door by the uh, bookcase um, I'm gonna try my very best to finish everything by five o'clock so that I can go and edit by five o'clock if it's not done I have to stop because uh, he's coming in at nine all right let's do six six o'clock I should do it um, but anyway okay I hope you like what I'm doing with the room um, the bed I listen he picked the bed he wanted that bed I have a feeling he's gonna say mom I made a mistake I don't want it um, I I don't know you never know with this kid I don't know um, I like the bed the bed is very well made it's very sturdy you know it just has to be anchored to the wall which is a no-brainer um, but that ladder man <laughs> But I guess, you know, he's 16, what does he care? But I have a feeling like at some point down the line, he's going to be like, Mom, can we ditch the bed and get a regular bed? I, I don't know. What he really wanted was to be able to have a desk, um, a big desk for his computers and his drawings and, and, you know, everything else that he's doing. That's fine. But that room, this room doesn't really allow for that. Um, in Edward's room, yes, because it's much bigger. But here, you can't really do it with a twin-size bed plus a desk. There would be no room. So now he's got room. Ideally, that's what you need. You need a loft bed. So we'll see. He may surprise me and be like totally 100% uh, loving it. Who knows? With this kid, who knows? Uh, but I'm tired and I'm going to bed. I got, I'm nursing a headache for the past two or three hours. Um, sinus related I'm pretty sure it's because of the smell of the paint I'm gonna turn on the um, air purifier and it's gonna run all night I don't think the desk tomorrow is gonna take that long definitely not as long as the bed I mean that was crazy that was like three hours something um, I'm, I'm gonna fall asleep <laughs> okay guys that's it for me um so tomorrow i film two videos i'll do one where it's just a desk and organizing the desk the computer and everything and then the, the other video that i'll do will be um putting everything together you know the bed the decor and giving you a final tour so what i'll do is put the before again in it and then the after um, I think he's gonna love it but you never know so we'll see like I said earlier sometimes you get a vision in your head and then when you execute it you're like oh <laughs> I mean picture it that way um, so we'll see okay guys give me a thumbs up if you like this video um, share it if you know a mom who needs ideas um, on creating a boy room and then subscribe right here in the corner click that bell button so you always get notified when I post a new video uh, and then you can find me on patreon if you want to support this family and this channel um, patreon.com slash my great challenge <laughs> and then the Etsy shops the link are down below the links are down below um I'm I'm linking all of the stuff from here the curtains the bean bag the rug the bed um I think that's it so far right curtains bean bag the bed and the uh, the rug it's all linked down below um you know if you want to check it out and that would be it i am going to bed i will see you in the next video bye
Thank you for watching. Bye.